Hello, but welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. I'm actually a full-time reseller and also a shopaholic. <laughs> and I like to review makeup and perfumes, all things girly and beauty for the mature beauty community. But obviously any age, we all like girly things. Um, so yes, today I'm going to be reviewing two perfumes by Zara. I was recently at a Zara in San Antonio, Texas. First time ever visiting um, and visiting a Zara. Normally I could only get Zara online and so I was very happy to um, visit, a visit the Zara. Um, I'll enclose a picture of me in front of Zara with these two perfumes. And yes, without further ado, let's hop right into it. The first fragrance is the Zara Hibiscus. And this is a dupe for, I'm reading if you see me, reading here it's also a, it's also a dupe for the low way sola ella which retails for $65 and this was here we go 19 $19.90 only so i'm going to show you what it looks like it's really beautiful and i have smelled the um the low way also at the mall in the fragrance counter and i felt like it was comparable so comment below if you have them both and let me know what you think. The bottle is very pink and very pretty, like a very rose, like that would be a really pretty lip color. Um, I also do 30 lipsticks in 30 days. I'm gonna be doing them throughout the year because I have hundreds of lipsticks. So I probably should have did a, um, I don't know, 100 lipsticks in 100 days or something like that. But um, if you're interested in shorts and not longer content, please subscribe and like and visit my shorts because I do them on the daily. Okay, so this is Hibiscus by Zara. Beautiful bottle, beautiful sprayer. Very sweet, but not as sweet as Ariana Grande perfumes. Okay, so this is what, I'm gonna spray it actually right here because I have no perfume on. It's a nice, let's see if you could see the sprayer. There, very, very, oh my goodness. At first spray, you get a big whop of passion fruit. I love to eat passion fruit, um, and I'm very familiar with that scent, and that's the very first thing that you smell upon first spray. And like I said, this is just under $20, and let's see how much you get. You get 3.4, no, just three ounces, which is 90 mil. Big, big bottle, you know, big size. This is probably going to last at least the year. And let's see, like I said, it was a dupe, and it's considered a tropical fragrance, and um perfect for the summertime and there are notes of citrus mango passion fruit followed by a very light floral very light floral not heavy floral at all I don't even consider a floral I consider it more of a fruity sweet scent again right one big deep inhalation of this and you're getting passion fruit it's been a couple minutes and now I'm smelling mango and citrus almost like a fruit salad so um, if you've ever opened a can of Del Monte fruit salad, it kind of resembles that to me, but it could just be me. So that is the first one that I bought. I'm kicking myself because I wish I would have brought all of them technically, um, but I was on a budget, so I was good. So this was again, 1990 and this is the hibiscus. I do have a couple coming in the mail and um, I think it's Peony and Femme. I think those are the two that are coming in the mail and I'll be review reviewing them in the next couple weeks. So check back if you're interested in amateur, no expert. I love watching experts uh, perfume people on YouTube, but I am far from an expert. I just like perfume. Next one is the Zara Golden Decade. This is, to the best of my knowledge, the most popular one and it was actually only $9.95, and it is a dupe for the beloved YSL Libra, which I've had little sample sizes before that I've always used up, and I would say also it's a spot-on dupe. Um, you get, let's see, this is the smaller 30 mil, hence half the cost, and the regular Libra, Libra perfume retails for, let's see, $110. Did I say the hibiscus? The regular, the hibiscus original the low way sola ella backing up sorry 
um, that retails actually for 65 and this retails for 20 so kind of a difference but this is a huge difference as you know YSL is very much luxury and so this is the Zara dupe it's very champagne -y, and I've actually used it probably about six times already hence that missing and um, upon first smell think root beer <laughs> if you like root beer soda and that scent you will like this so I smell root beer like if a, a can of root beer married some champagne that's what I'm getting from this um, on the dry down which I'm gonna put it on this hand or this arm let's see Be beautiful spray beautiful spray oh my goodness root beer root beer and champagne anyone root beer and champagne okay so this was ten dollars the original um, retails for 110 if you're gonna be buying the YSL Libra with perfumes pushing out so many different scents I do kind of prefer the dupes because I get bored kind of quickly I was really on the uh, Adriana Adriana is it Adriana I'm trying to think um, the cotton candy scents the cloud and um, those scents okay very overly cupcake sweet cotton candy scents and if you use uh, one perfume for very long you you do tend to get bored I feel I hear a lot of my friends say that too so that's where the dupes come in that you can kind of shake things up in between so you don't get so bored of your favorite fragrances so this is an easy to wear day fragrance I'm gonna say you're going to the office um, or even just working at home you know just I'm smelling that root beer and it smells so good um, root beer and champagne and then getting back to this one the hibiscus is kind of a summertime daytime uh, hot weather maybe you're going um, out to lunch with your girlfriends out to lunch with your boyfriend husband what have you this would do very well for you it's kind of it's not overpowering it's not going to give you a headache and it's kind of a light fruity sweet where you're going to pass and people are like is that her perfume or or what then they're not even really sure but it, they know that it smells good this mm, this is just very easy to wear where i think people would stop you and ask you what you're wearing so there you have it just a seven minute mini review and i'm going to try to keep all my videos under 10 minutes if they're not reselling related i know that not everybody cares about reselling and not everyone cares about beauty but these are the things that i'm interested in and this this is pretty much what I'm going to try to base my channel with a few uh, vlogs here and there when we travel and stuff like that. So I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe and like my video and share and um, stay tuned to what's coming. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.